and God will give you favor. They just won't do things for you. No, no, you don't sit over here. No, you, you come over here. No, no, we want you to have this table. No, we want you to sit in first class. No, we want you, I know you got this room. We want you to have the suite. Why? They're acknowledging that there's something so awesome about you, which is the God portion, that they're moved to do something for you that your money and your conversation never asked for. God's about to bless some of you in such a way because he wants to use you. And so he's going to bless you. He's going to reward you for your righteous living. He's going to re reward you for living holy. He's going to reward you. I'm telling you, God still rewards holiness. God still rewards righteousness. He's going to reward you. I know. I've been there. I live this thing. I'm in this thing. I've had people down through the you talk like this, people laugh at you, they talk about you behind your back, and they don't have nothing, and God will be with you, and you will have peace, and you will have joy, and they'll be broken down, and they'll be a part of that old religious jargon stuff, and, and that stuff doesn't mean nothing to God. God will favor you in spite of them. They have no control in your life. God controls your destiny. God favors you, and I want you to know that many of you, some of y'all about to break out this year in a way like you never broke out some of your business are about to implode and explode God is about to bless some marriages in here God is about to do some renewing some refreshing and some redos